We often want to try out some things in life, but we often feel limited to do so. These things include fear, self-limiting beliefs, and so many other factors. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gladys Karobia. I hope you're all doing well. On today's video, we are going to be talking about things that limit us to do certain things in life. The number one thing that limits us is self-limiting beliefs. These are beliefs about yourself that make you feel somehow limited to do certain things in life or even to try them. Some of these beliefs include words like, uh, words you tell yourself like, I can't do it, I'm not worthy enough, I don't have what it takes, so and so should be doing it and not me. Just by listening to these phrases, you can hear how impactful they can affect your life or they can even affect you to not even try to do anything. You can challenge these self-limiting beliefs by replacing them with words such as, I can do it, I am going to try, I am enough, I have what it takes, believe you can do it and you will, believe you cannot do it and you definitely won't do anything. Hi guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, thank you. The second thing that limits us to do certain things in life is expectations. Expectations come from family, it can come from friends, colleagues, and so many other places. We are often swayed by the expectations people have of us, never really doing anything we want, and all in the name of, I don't want to disappoint my family, I don't want to disappoint my colleagues, I don't want to disappoint the society. This is what the society expects people like me to do or expect people of my age to be doing. And when you continue to do this, you find that you never really do anything you want for yourself. You are always following what other people want you to do. Let the expectations you have of yourself be your driving force rather than those people expect of you. The third thing that limits us is procrastination. This is the art of delaying to do something, knowing very well that there will be negative consequences. I am personally struggling with procrastination, where you postpone to do something. Maybe you say you're gonna do it tomorrow or next week. You keep on postponing until you never get it done. This is something that I know most people struggle with. And uh, you find that procrastination can really, really limit you to do certain things in life. Like maybe you're planning to do something, it takes you days, it takes you weeks, it takes you even months or years to never do it. And then one time you start beating yourself up, you're like, but why didn't I do it? Now you're even regretting when you had the chance to do it, but you procrastinated until you never got anything done. This can really, really limit you. The fourth thing that limits us is fear. We all face fear at some point in our lives. Fear holds so many people back in life. Fear comes from sources such as fear of the unknown, fear of the outcome, fear of how people might see whatever you are trying to do, fear of how people might judge you. And when you come to think about it, fear can really paralyze you to not even try that thing that you really want to try. You know very well that you're passionate about something, but there's this fear inside you that you let it win, that stops you from doing anything. You just stay in your cage. You really want to go out, but you are so scared. And actually there's this line that I read some time back, which said, uh, the meaning of fear is false experiences appearing real. You know, it's not even real. This is just something that is inside you that makes you feel you're so scared to do something. It's not even real, but because it's something that you're thinking, you have already embraced it as your reality and it is paralyzing you to not even do anything. Don't let fear win. The fifth and the final point is comfort zone. Comfort zone kills more dreams than fear ever will. This is where you are like in a cage. You don't want to go out. You are so content with what you have, but deep down you know you want to have more. And you can have more, you can do more, you can become more. But you're in this cage, you don't want to go out. 
it's somehow like I, for me i term comfort zone such as laziness because you want to try out something but you're finding so many reasons why you don't want to do it and when you're in your comfort zone this is where you start calling people lucky people who behind the curtains are putting in work day and night start calling them but so and so is lucky because they know so and so so and so and lucky is because maybe this, this is what they have but not knowing that these people are moving past their comfort zone don't stay in your comfort zone it can paralyze you so bad it can make your life feel so stagnant you are even hating your life at some point i'm telling you so don't let comfort zone win move past your comfort zone push yourself sometimes it's hard to push yourself sometimes you want to stay in that comfort zone but it won't really take you anywhere it's going to limit you big time and that was it for today's video guys i really hope this video was helpful feel free to leave some more comments down on the comment section on some of the things that limit us to do certain things in life i'll be so happy to learn from you as well guys thank you so much for all the new subscribers if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and i'll see you on my next one bye